Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today, I'm going to be speaking about this. I'll tell you about it after the break. Right, so what exactly is this? This is something called the STEM table. STEM is an audio company purchased by Shure um, in the last couple of years to add some new devices to the Shure range of audio ecosystem. Really, the form factor should kind of give you a clue as to what it is. Effectively, it's a giant speaker puck. Not really one that you would just stick into your bag like the Callistos and the Yealink CP range, etc but it's one that you would actually put in the center of a table for a meeting room. It has all of its mics and speakers built into the device, and you put this at the center of the table for those kind of rooms where everybody talks toward each other rather than toward the front of the room. It will work in those kind of situations as well, thanks to the way sound bounces around a room anyway. For larger rooms, you can actually pair these devices and actually have multiple, maybe down a long table or something like that, where center of table audio uh, kind of mics and speakers actually do make sense. You can have one every couple of meters down the table uh, to put the audio in the center. In terms of characteristics, it's not really much to look at. It's just a black box, but it's kind of supposed to be a little bit indiscreet in the middle of the table. Effectively, all you've got really for buttons is volume up and down and a mute button there. And for ports, you've got USB to connect it back to the room compute, or and you've also got a network port that connects you to the network but also powers the device. So the device does actually run on PoE and PoE only. It's got this mesh fabric covering the mics and I guess the speakers and around the sides, all the way around, it's got these fins. And what these are supposed to do is direct the sound from the speakers downward and outward along the table to give you bigger sound in rooms. So if you look at this graphic on the screen, it says it's got nine beam forming mics, 360 degrees around the outside. And of course, this downward facing speaker driver that pushes sound down and out along the table. Also across the top around the controls is an LED light ring that gives you an indication of whether you're speaking, whether you're on mute, that kind of thing. Another little party piece of the LED ring is that the, the bar will actually light blue to indicate where the speakers are in the room. So it'll tell you which bank of mics are actually picking up people on which side of the table. Not something you probably look at or even notice when you're in a meeting, but it's kind of a cool thing anyway. As I've already ditched the box as you'd expect, but in the box you get a 15 foot CAT6 ethernet cable and a 12 foot or 3.7 meter USB-A to USB-B cable for connecting back to the compute. Now this is more than just a standalone speaker puck. As I said, you can actually pair these together and have multiples along the table. When you do that, you don't just daisy chain these off each other and connect it back to the compute. You actually have to add another box to the trick, the STEM hub. And the STEM hub is designed to actually be a DSP and that kind of device aggregator that connects everything in the STEM ecosystem. It's all part of a room itself, all back to the compute itself. Everything is aggregated through that one hub. In terms of setup, you can just plug the device in and it'll work, but because it's got ethernet connection, it does actually have a web UI built into the device, as does everything in the range, including the hub, as you see it here, the loudspeaker, the ceiling mic, the control box, and their soundbar. So you probably want to know how it sounds. I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to plug it back in to this PC, use this for recording. I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back now. I've plugged it all in. The device is in front of me, and I'm using it for the audio on this recording. I'll let you judge to see how that actually sounds. That LED light bar across the top actually has a little blue indicator to show me which mic is actually picking up my voice right now. Um, and hopefully the audio sounds all right. I actually used it for a couple of weeks, just connected to a normal PC. And the comments I got were that the audio was actually quite good. Uh, no matter where I was in the room, it was able to pick me up and normalize my voice pretty well. Of course, the mics are just one side of the story. There's also the speakers. Those downward speakers force the sound down and across the table. Uh, I wasn't really giving it a, 
a, a particularly fair test. I've got a pretty small and very full desk. There wasn't a lot of surface area for the sound to travel outward. However, the sound was quite clear and quite loud. The only real comment I had was that it lacked a little bit of bass the other side. Of course, that's all subjective. So as I said, these devices are actually network connected, which means you can manage them online. So if I open up the web UI, you can see I can actually connect the device. So the first thing it does when you connect it up, it actually asks if you want to set up an organization. I'm just going to say no for now. And now if I click on what, it explains exactly what they mean by organization. And really what they mean by setting up an organization is actually you create an ecosystem of all your devices, either in your building or in your whole estate, and put them behind a single kind of password. I'm just going to say not now. And now you can see all of the controls that I have. If I go into the quick start, all they ask me to do is kind of go through a couple of steps. I can obviously view the legal information, or I can just press next. And this is actually just a guided little thing to tell me what I need to do. Clearly, I've already connected this device to the network, but if I have additional devices, I can use this management portal to manage all of the devices that are actually on there. That's right. So this is the web UI for this single device, but the web UI on every single device can be, can be used to manage all of the devices in your STEM state. So clearly I'm talking about this device. I can ping it or I can just press next. I can give it a name. And then here I can actually create a room. So now it's go ahead, going ahead and creating the room and now it's all done. It asks if I want to add any more units. I don't have any more units, so I'm just going to say I'm done. So now I've actually got a room. If I go into ecosystem and rooms, I can see there's a room there. And if I go into the room, I can see that uh, inside the room is the table that I have. And from here, I can test the room, which uh, records your voice and all that. You can also have it adapt to the room, which is actually quite a cool feature. It actually tune itself to the room itself. It'll play a test tone and bounce off the walls to try and tune the microphones to the room itself. I can also go into things like advanced and do some additional things. So I can schedule a restart. So you know any, anybody that has an IP based device, uh, sometimes they need restarts. So you can actually schedule it. You can also schedule a test. Um, it's always a good idea to make sure the room and the devices in the room are ready to rock and roll when you want to start a meeting. So maybe scheduling some testing would be a good thing. I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, the lights, that LED light bar on the top, if you find it distracting or something like that, you can actually turn them off. You can also check for automatic firmware updates. Sometimes that's a good idea. Um, fencing. So this is quite a cool thing. So what you can do is set up fencing and it will create an acoustic fence around the area and start to ignore things outside of that fence. It doesn't look like you can actually adjust the size of the fence or anything like that, but at least you can actually enable it. If you use a local server, so maybe you've got a STEM server or something, you can put the details in there. I'm just going to leave the time zone uh, for now. And this is quite a cool thing. It's actually a SIP device. So if you go into SIP configuration, you can see you can actually set up a digest authentication uh, to connect to a SIP gateway of some description. That's quite cool. I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the settings. Now, if I go back, go back again, go back again. So from here, you can also go into what they call their design wizard. So in the design wizard, what you can do is you can actually create a room, give it some walls, now that's about right. So that is actually my little office itself. Now if I click on devices, I can say I've got a stem table and I can drag it there and put it in the center. Now if I go on estimated pickup, you can see that the estimated pickup is actually quite a bit larger than the room I have itself. I don't know if you can see, but there are kind of two shades of this green. So the darker green, obviously in the center is the device. This kind of slightly lighter green is the perfect pickup area. So everything in this pickup zone uh, will be picked up. So that's every corner of my office, where, no matter where I stand, will be picked up nicely. Anything outside that area is a little bit less, but it will still pick you up nonetheless. This is the only device I have in this room. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back. But if you wanted to, you can also put in things like a table, seating, uh, more devices, etc. So now it's asking me if I want to save the room, give it a name. So now I've got my office as a design. 
with the devices inside of it. So I'm just going to go all the way back. Now, if I had this connected to a SIP gateway, I could go into the dialer, for instance, and use the office. And then it gives me this dial pad, call history, and everything else. But I'm not connected to one, so I'm just going to go back. Now, if I click on stats, I can get some information about the usage, the uptime, get some event logs. And if I had it connected to a SIP system, I've got the call logs as well. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you for today. Uh, I wanted to record my voice so you could judge for yourself exactly what it sounds like. And of course, I wanted to show you that web UI and how to actually control and manipulate the thing. Now, if I do get my hands on some more STEM devices, I'll show you what it's like to actually connect them all together in an ecosystem. But for now, we're just going to stick with this one and I'll catch you in the next video.